Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft Season 6 with me, False Symmetry. And today we're starting off the episode completely different because yes, you guys have been commenting a whole bunch just over a long amount of time that you never ever see the process of getting videos ready and prepared, collecting resources and things like that. I guess I've been doing that a whole bunch on Twitch and things like that when I've been live streaming. Link below if you want to come and check those out. I do stream a whole bunch but um, basically I thought you know what I'll bring in a little smidge of that in the beginning of today's episode because literally today's episode the preparation for this episode and also the episodes that will come after this one for this one big project that we're going to be starting today has been taking me hours I haven't counted but let's just say it is definitely a few hours or more I've literally been spending hours upon hours building, planning, gathering resources, a whole bunch of other stuff and I'm pro probably gonna be having to do that a whole bunch more because this episode is the start of something big. But let's get right into it guys, let's get out of this time lapse mode and let's get started on today's project. So as you would have seen in those clips, we have been working on digging out and making the terrain nice and flat and easy to build on over here in the medieval district. Now, I know what you're thinking. Yes, well, she said it took hours and hours. Um, this particular part didn't necessarily. I mean, maybe it took an hour, maybe a little bit less um, doing this. I mean, I didn't have a beacon, but it was mostly grass. Obviously, this bit was a little bit of a mountain or a little hill. But other than that, yeah, it wasn't uh, a lot of work. But what has been taking me a long while is get gathering resources, uh, of which I don't even have anywhere near enough uh, for what we're gonna need here. But the biggest thing that has taken a lot, a lot of time on this is something you're not gonna see, or at least until this is done, because this project is so big that I'll be honest, guys, I've had to do an awful lot of work in creative mode, getting it to a stage where I'm happy with it, to then build on here because such a big project it's hard to to do it off the top of your head sort of thing like I like to think that I can do that with some builds if a build's quite small and stuff I can you know do it do it sort of with a little bit of work and creative perhaps um first maybe I'll plan something out like a color palette or something like that and then just hop straight on Hermitcraft and then get to work but for the most part with projects this large and I point up there because that is the highest point, I think, um, <laughs> of this whole build. And of course, it's going to fit within this gap here. Um, yeah, let's just say it's needed a bit more than just, um, yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it, yeah, it's needed a little, it's needed a bit more work. <laughs> and by a bit, I mean hours and hours. But anyway, uh, yeah, I need to do some planning. I'm actually going to have to cut right now and spend an, a whole bunch more time putting the, the sort of footprint down of this building. So this is the space for the cathedral slash church slash abbey slash whatever we want to call this. I'm not even going to give it a name. I'm just going to build it. It's medieval in style. But other than that, I haven't really decided what necessarily it looks like other than sort of a combination of those types of buildings. It's basically a big tall building made out of the blocks that actually a lot of the blocks that I built that house out of because I like that colour scheme so much, which by the way, if we then build this out of those those blocks, I'm probably going to have to build a few more houses just dotted around, just to make it feel like a little bit more connected with the surrounding area. But that is for another time, and that is a way easier project. So yeah, I'm going to get my blocks together, which by the way, these are all the blocks I have so far. I'm going to need a heck of a lot more than these. But uh, of course, that will be a project for live stream and gathering more resources and doing a whole bunch of the grindy stuff but uh yeah i need to start planning out where the corners of this build is what way it's gonna face and things like that but yeah that is the one thing i have definitely set in stone on the creative world that i'm using so i'm gonna recreate that in here hope that it's correct measure it all out spend a whole bunch of time freaking out that it's not lining up and then uh, i'll come back guys to show you the actual size of this build because it's not quite square and it's not quite this size. <laughs> Little bit smaller. Well, talk about unexpected. I just landed in here. I was paying attention to my other screen so I wasn't really looking at what was going on around me. But I've just landed down here to come and get a bed. And I got hit by something. I turned around and thought, 
Okay, well, assume it's AFK. It must have just been a bit of lag, maybe uh, a little bit of a delay on the damage I'd taken landing, perhaps. It was a bit heavier than normal. And then it happened again. I turned around again and I was like, huh, there's nothing. There's nothing going on. And then it happened again. And I, I looked up and there's literally a phantom in here. Dude, how did you even manage to follow me down here all the way? I literally flew straight down here. How is that even possible? Can they spawn this low down, perhaps? That's re That's the first time that's ever happened, and of course I've had this base for an awful long time. But yeah, anyway, I don't think I fancy a pet phantom um, at all. But yeah, talk about a random occurrence on the server. I can't even reach him. It, my, my ceilings are too tall. Come on. Come on down. Stop hanging out up there, dude. Please, let me, let me put you out of your misery, otherwise you're literally going to be stuck in here forever, dude because it's probably going to be difficult for you to get out. It's like having a bird get into a shop or something, and then, of course, they have a hard time finding the door again. But yeah, there we go. Also got a phantom head. Nice. Sweet. So the uh, the planning it out has mostly been done. I have left the back wall over the back uh, that I do not quite know exactly uh, how to do it. Funny fact, uh, I've built this thing in creative and I've built like the like the majority of it. Uh, there are walls that are going to be replicated on multiple sides and things like that. So I've built like a very, very small amount of this building. But as I replicate the uh, designs on different walls and, and things like that, um, it'll all come together um, and hopefully be a complete building because I don't technically have a complete building yet. Um, but funny fact, I've actually done the corners and stuff wrong. So when I build it on here, I'm going to have to <laughs> build it a little bit differently as I go, which is always a bit of a problem. Uh, the whole point you build in creative first and plan out a building, at least sort of, you know, footprint wise and, and things. And so you know exactly where all the pillars go and where the walls go and how far back the walls are pushed and things like that is so that you don't have to do any changes, but of course I've made it a pain in the butt uh, by having to now make changes. But yeah, you can sort of see the footprint of it here. There we go. I've got rid of a whole bunch of the other scaffolding just because that was making it a bit confusing. But that is now the footprint of the building. I've left a bit of a gap this side because it would be nice to have a gap around where the um, railway is, um, especially as I think right there, that stone there is where the doorway is going to be. I'm th thinking about putting a doorway on the other side as well, just so that if you are walking around here, you don't have to walk around right to the front of it to get in. Because obviously with big buildings like this, oh my goodness, the scale of it is pretty big. I haven't... <laughs> Another thing about building things in Creative First is you don't really walk around in them and realise just, oh my goodness, how tall the tower is going to be of it. Oh my god, oh my... Oh my goodness. Okay, well the interior is a whole other matter, by the way. Not even thought about that yet, uh, which uh, I might regret at some point. But yes, okay, so that is done. I think what I want to do now is start building the pillars, uh, of which are going to be made out of dark oak wood. I think the roof's going to be red terracotta. Pillars dark oak. There is going to be a range of cobblestone and stone bricks for the these parts, the, stru the structure, uh, and, and the smaller pillars if that makes sense and the little details oh and i think the roof might have you see how that roof's got like the cobblestone around it and stuff i might do that with stone bricks um have, I, have any of these got stone bricks that one over there has yeah see oh no that's not stone bricks that is cobblestone okay well maybe we'll make it cobblestone i think stone bricks are gonna look a little bit nicer though because it is of course a grander building perhaps uh so we're gonna Minimise our use of cobblestone, but definitely use that on the, the, the lower points. And then I think the walls, of course, are going to be brown mushroom blocks, which the scale of thing is going to need some big walls. I mean, the roof, big walls and a lot of roof as well. It's got a big, gigantic roof. It's sort of a little bit like that building, but scaled up. So you see that building? It's an L-shaped building, like this one is. Yeah, it's sort of like that. I just realised these are both like the same way round as well, which looks a bit odd, but to be honest, the entrance only really worked facing this way because I don't really want it facing that way because that's the war zone. Don't really want to face that way, do we? We want to face into a little bit more of the medieval, which is this way. Yeah, of course, there's a nice farm and stuff over here. Cool. And this is maybe where we could put the market and things like that. That could be a cool little spot for it and sort of open up the medieval this way. Anyway, I'm definitely going to have to say to the hermits, do not build at all in the vicinity of this, because it's going to need a lot of terrain work as well, as you can see. But, um, yeah, I'm really, really happy with this, so let me get building. 
and I guess what we should do is probably roll that time lapse, guys, because otherwise we're not going to get this thing done in any amount of decent time. plan to finish the time lapse. Uh, yeah, not my best plan, <laughs> especially as it's night time. I've forgotten to put torches on some of these. I just planned on grabbing, oh, I've tried getting up there because as you can see, I didn't finish that one quite. <laughs> oh, okay, of course. You're going to come and try and attack me as well. Don't you dare. I have no armor on. Don't, <laughs> don't even try it. Don't even try it. Not interested. <laughs> Ooh, anyway, I guess that's a good time to wrap up the time lapse. I was just going to do the same thing all the way around. In fact, I'm actually going to be live streaming in just a bit. So I think what I might do is just hop on live stream early, get the bomb bit done on live stream, and then come back to you guys to do the doorway. That's what I've saved here. I really want to do the doorway. I think that's going to be like a good way for you guys to sort of see the scale of this place and, and things like that, and really just sort of get a, a you know, a feeling for what sort of thing I'm building here. I'm gonna have to light this up as I go, aren't I? Which is a little bit annoying and I hadn't actually thought about the fact that of course it's gonna be spawnable if I don't put slabs and stairs everywhere. So for example there is spawnable. I guess carpets are gonna be the saviour for that kind of thing, right? But yeah, you can still see where I, what I've gone with here. Uh, so yeah, this bit originally is, is wrong. Uh, there was never meant to be this middle bit but because I've had to move these out one, there now is. Oh, actually saying that, oh, that ruins it completely, actually. I didn't realize, I didn't even notice with these. They're meant to be like that. They're meant to be like a, like a oh my goodness, like a, like a right angle. But of course, that isn't the case. Because now I've had to, oh, but. I might have to move the front back and things like, and, and, the, and, the, and the back forward. <laughs> so I think what I'm going to have to do is get rid of all this, get rid of this, and move this to here, because it's meant to be, just be a right angle like that is, and then this is meant to be there. But then, of course, that, that bring, and then, <laughs> but that makes the issue that I had in the creative world that when I built it. That means I have to move this back, which shouldn't affect things too, too much, hopefully. But then, oh, but no, and then... So if we move that to there, okay, we're working this out real quick. <laughs> this probably doesn't make any sense to you guys. But yeah, 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 of course. I'm gonna have to move the side in one by one as well. Oh, it's such a tricky build. I don't like it. Oh, I don't like it at all. It's <laughs> confusing and tricky and just a massive pain in the butt. Um, and yeah, I need to get rid of this. Okay, otherwise I'm just gonna get confused and I'm gonna build it all wrong and I don't wanna build it wrong. If I build it wrong from this bottom bit up, well, then we're having big issues, but of course, yes, I'm going to have to get rid of all of this and build it back one. Dang it, and that means I'm going to have to move all of that wall back. Oh, talk about loads of work. Okay, I'm going to definitely live stream this box, but at least, at least I feel like I'm making some progress and people aren't all just, you know, and, and basically so that the video actually gets done. Because if I don't do it in a uh, live stream, it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to drive me mad and I won't get as much done as I wanted to in this video. But at least uh, coming up here... And up those ones, I'll be able to put a torch on top. <laughs> Gotta find the, the good and the bad, right? Oh, and it's raining, of course. Great. Very helpful, Minecraft. Thanks. <laughs> so, one live stream later, and one day later, we now have the whole bottom part done. I've even done the back as well. We worked that out on stream, how that was meant to look. And we now have a pretty good structure, I think, of how this place is going to look. I guess the only thing I haven't done is built this staircase on that side because there is going to be another door there but that can be for another time that doesn't matter too much but what i am going to be doing is building this doorway here so i've gathered a whole bunch of blocks that i think i'm gonna need i've got a whole bunch but I'm, I, I don't know i don't know basically i've got a design for this already so i'm gonna hope that i can recreate it basically because it's gonna be a little bit difficult basically the the premise is we've got two little uh lines here that are basically just plain old boring, <laughs> um, I guess, pillars um, all the way up to about there. 
um, and the same will go on that side and then I've got some sort of design going on up these. Now uh, the design I think is going to be, one strip is going to be cobblestone, the other strip is going to be um, stone bricks and we're basically going to place stairs in like a variety of uh, patterns. I've just thought I should probably do this side at the same time so that I know what way things are placing because if I just scaffold up the middle and then place them so that they are mirrored that's going to be a heck of a lot easier to, uh, I think, place. So let me just make sure I've got that all correct, make some scaffolding real quick, and we will do the design up to there, and then I'll bring you guys back in, I think, for that bit, because that is going to be where the main design is, and basically recreate it up there. So we're going to bring in some height already on the build, and then we're going to go up even higher! But that is for another episode, because <laughs> already this has taken way too long. Oh man, this is why I don't take on big projects like this, they just take an absolute age. So now I'm just continuing the design upwards, just recreating the same thing that I'm doing both sides here. This was actually probably a mistake, I should have built this as I went up rather than uh, right now. I'm thinking it could have been easier as well if I'd like put the blocks behind this uh, that are then going to be there. In fact that might be a good idea because I've got the mushroom blocks on me and they are just going to go... I guess behind anything that's got a gap, right? So if we just sort of pillar ourselves up, I guess they're gonna have to go here as well, actually saying that. So I guess let's use as minimum amount of these as possible, just because I don't wanna have to collect more if I don't have to. And let's just sort of recreate the shape of uh, this thing. So let's go all the way up to the top there. And then of course, just follow this along the shape and meet up with the other side as well. Right, done that. It's going to give us a bit more of a canvas to work on. Yeah, there we go. That's the first wall of this whole thing. Look at that. Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> Big brown beige wall. Wow, how exciting. I know. Riveting, right? But we're going to hopefully make this look a little bit more exciting by building more uh, more designs on it, I guess. Um, so I know that we go up like that. I'm basically trying to recreate this from, <laughs> from my, my screenshot that I've got open. But this is a little bit more difficult than I thought it might be, which is a bit of a problem. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to build this up as we go. I think it's gonna be the easiest way to do this. So if I go up here, and then I think in my design I've got like a, a that way, and then a that way. So we'll recreate that again here, like so. Step back, check that's correct. Yes, it is, cool. <laughs> and then I've got something like this. I just want to make sure it's all like symmetrical, but yeah, I tried uh, making a whole bunch of designs uh, for this and this was the design that I decided that looked good. It's all about making just random decisions. <laughs> I, I could have, I guess, tried to make like a shape or a specific like creature or something, but I, I don't know. I, I find it easier just to like create shapes, right? Uh, so that looks quite good for the first part. So that's this part here. I think we're going to need some sort of... We've got a stair there, does that look too much of a blank? No, I think I'm gonna leave a big gap here, it's sort of like an arch, and then cr start creating another design up top. But we don't have a screenshot of that yet, so let me uh, <laughs> let me finish this up and then we'll take a step back and take a look at the whole wall so far. And then of course we need to add the door because I completely forgot about that as well. So I think the only thing I would change about this so far is probably adding other colors like behind it and not just keeping it sort of the creamy beigey colour. As much as you're getting different shades of that colour because of the shadows, so it does give it a bit more sort of depth. Um, yeah, it looks a bit flat still, so I don't know. We'll we'll think about that as we go around. I think as soon as you add more walls and stuff, it, it won't make too much difference. But yeah, I'm thinking of adding like a brown terracotta or something behind that. Something a little bit like this shade of brown could look kind of nice, but again, We'll wait and see how the other walls turn out before we even add details like that. It's it's unnecessary thinking about those, but that is what is going to happen throughout. I'm going to be tempted by little details that then might not look in the bigger picture that good. But um, anyway, uh, so my plan above here is to add the roof, but I'm not going to add that today. We're going to do the roof a completely different episode. I think I'm actually going to try and do one wall because I have got a little bit extra time than I originally thought. So let's grab some... Where's my wood? This is the only problem, having so many shulker boxes. I don't know where they are. Now, do you want it to be... A, no, dark oak door is going to be way too dark, isn't it? Yeah. I think we need a spruce door. So yeah, uh, while I was listening back to that, I've actually just done the other side. I've continued this sort of floor here just temporarily so that I can get to both doorways if I need to. 
through the middle because otherwise I'd have to dig through the wall because of course it's up on like a platform. But anyway, what I've decided to do is I'm going to leave that for another time. But what I will do with the mushroom blocks is add this wall here. Now, I don't know whether or not I want them to... I think I want them to start the same place as that. But that's a problem, of course, because now we have this sort of gap here. And I'm thinking, like, do we want... I think we probably want a line of stone bricks there, don't we? Yeah, it'd be nice to have like a border. So I think stone bricks there, stone bricks there, and then we'll fill in the middle with the mushroom blocks. Um, and and then we'll see what, what kind of design we can make, I think. That is going to be the best way to go about this. Right, this is going to be the tricky part, because with this, I don't really have a design in mind. Uh, I've made one, but I don't like it. So I think... <laughs> It's going to be a tricky one, but I think if we add the window in the centre first, let's three that aside, and I think I want four above. One, two, three, four. Yeah, four above. Uh, because this is going to, this is like down one or two. This is sort of the, I think that's going to be where the bottom of the roof is. So we don't want to go too tall. We want it to feel like it's in proportion. Uh, the top and the bottom of this. So I think with this now, let's put the ladder back. Uh, I think we want to do... A bit of a frame around it with I think I think cobblestone I haven't we haven't used too much cobblestone yet and I do really like these bits here I really want to recreate them elsewhere I think maybe on these parts here either side of this um, as much of this is sort of symmetrical so these two walls will be mirrored for example this will be mirrored with any others that are the same size but I don't know if there are any the same size and basically we're gonna sort of keep the same sort of design throughout if we can help it just to sort of make it all um go together but i'm gonna need to get some cobblestone together because i of course just completely forgot to pick some up so let me get some together make some slabs make some stairs and even though i don't have a lot of blocks over here i just cannot seem to find anything i want so it's very complicated <laughs> Okay, so let's let's start off with what I do want to, I think, do, which is have a place on the bottom of the windows where we can put like a flower pot or something. So I think we're gonna need something like that just to just to bring out some colour. Oh, my bad, that nearly went off into the ether. Uh, okay, right, let's put the glass in there. That'll just make us make it easier. So I think you know what? In fact, let's even do that at the top as well. And keep that as just the thing that we can go around. Okay, that just frames the window just a little bit nicer. And then I think if we just start with the stair at the bottom, like that, and sort of, again, we could even have extra, like, areas where we could have flat pots. And then we sort of want to go up from here, and then around. So I think I'm going to have to keep it quite straight. So I've got bought some cobblestone walls as well. I think if we do something like this... And then we need to take it out and then do something like that. I don't know if these would look very cool. I don't, would these look good? Like if they were just like straight up. Like maybe we could keep some sort of the height that's sort of going on. Let me quickly see where this lines up to the bottom of that. Okay. So if we did, were to do this and just literally copy what we've done down there. That would be nice, right? We'd, we'd, we'd sort of keep the uh, symmetry going. <laughs> symmetry always ends up, guys. People point this out to me, but man, it always pops up. Every single thing I design, symmetry is, is there somehow. Yeah, I've completely forgotten what this design looks like. Yeah, let me recreate this and we'll take a step back and have a look. Guys, I really, really like it. I think it looks good. I think that's what we want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes it feel a little bit more like, like this sort of bumpiness here really makes it feel like it's a bit more like a building because of course the mushroom box is like a really really plain texture but that makes it look look a bit more like it's sort of made out of brick uh the color scheme however i'm definitely gonna have to put some leaves on this or something and do some sort of garden or plants around it and maybe a fountain here or something some sort of courtyard this is probably gonna be a really really just flat open area because then you're gonna be able to stand back and stare at it right because all cathedrals have at least, yeah, the, the big, big cathedrals always have loads of room around it. So we're going to have to keep this space very, very open. And maybe around the back, you know, the buildings can be a lot closer. But yeah, definitely going to have to be able to stand back to at least... Yeah, that's why I build it up against this railway. Because then, you know, there's not really too much room for buildings. Um, don't want to, you know, squeeze any in here. 
be nice to have a load the other side though that would be really really cool and have this sort of railway split in between the two but anyway yeah we're really happy with that i think it's gonna look cool uh i'm actually just i just realized i'm i'm worried about the color scheme but i shouldn't be because the roof's gonna be bright red so so yeah the lack of color is okay because the roof is gonna be this color so if we just look at this all together yeah perfect okay that brings some color in nicely um i think we're gonna have to wrap up there though today guys i have got loads and loads and loads of other things to do on this and we're going to be doing this in probably the next episode and maybe a couple others after that and hopefully we will get this done before i go away because i am pre-recording again guys so after this episode they will be pre-recorded so hopefully no it spoil this complete thing uh, it's bound to happen at some point um i can't really skip out on it completely but yeah really, really happy with how this is looking so far really amped up to get this finished um and hopefully you guys will enjoy this project as much as i am i'm really really excited about it and guys thank you so much for watching leave a like if you did enjoy subscribe if you haven't already and i'll catch you guys all in the next episode see ya when stanley approached the end of the video he clicked the subscribe button